Hi, my name is B M Harwani, and I'm going to give you an introduction of Android programming. Today there are several mobile operating systems, and Android is one of them. Android is Google's open source mobile operating system that is based on the Linux kernel. Android was initially developed by Android Inc, a small company in Palo Alto, California, which was bought by Google in July 2005, and then after. Google released the Android SDK in November 2007. Periodically, Google keeps releasing Android SDK updates or versions that are assigned confectionery-themed code names in alphabetical order. For example, the names of few of Android SDK updates are Cupcake, Donut, Eclair, Froyo, Gingerbread, Honeycomb, Ice Cream Sandwich, Jelly Bean, Kit Kat, and Lollipop. The lollipop is the latest version at the time of this lecture. Let's discuss a couple of Android features that makes it so popular. Android comes with several application programming interfaces like Google API, Camera API, Location API, etc. Using these APIs, you can merge Google Maps into your apps, access device camera directly in your app, get nearby locations and displayed via your app, etc. So you can enhance features of your app without writing much code. Being open source, Android is supported by a large community of developers. Android supports touch screen devices, so using it you can develop apps for smartphones, tablets, Android TV, Android Auto, and Android Wear. Android TV is a smart TV platform that gives you an interactive television experience. You can play games, watch TV shows, and movies. You can use your voice to search for the required content. The TV even displays recommended content based on your viewing habits. Android Auto is a standard developed for automobiles. The mobile device and vehicle's dashboard unit are associated to each other. The steering wheel, messaging service, and voice are integrated in this standard. It displays useful information as per your location and can hear the commands given by you to act accordingly. Android Wear is an Android operating system designed for smart watches and other wearables. It integrates Google Now technology and mobile notifications into a smart watch form. Google Now gives you the right information at just the right time. It gives you weather information, traffic, flight, hotel reservation information, etc. at desired time. Android devices support NFC. So two NFC enabled Android devices can interact with each other just by tapping to each other. Android supports a built-in infrared transmitter so you can even use your phone or tablet as a remote control to control certain devices. Android supports fast speech recognition without network that means you can dictate to the device without any need of internet connection. These are just a few Android features There are much more that makes Android a very popular mobile operating system today. One thing more, as a developer if you develop Android apps, you can easily distribute your apps through Google Play. It's a market for selling Android apps. For developing Android apps you need a good knowledge of Java programming because Java is used to access the user interface controls, access the data entered in these controls, processes the data and take actions accordingly. Small knowledge of XML programming that is extensible markup language programming is also required because user interface in Android is defined through XML. The IDE that is popularly used for developing Android apps is called Android Studio that you can download from developer.android.com site. Android Studio makes the task of developing Android apps quite easy because of its several features. It has intelligent code editor that analyzes the code and does code completion task. For developing user interface, Android Studio provides different controls like text fields, radio buttons, check boxes, drop down list, click buttons, and you can simply need to drag and drop the desired controls on the screen, position them, and set the initial properties and the rest of the thing will be done by Android Studio. That is the whole interface code that is in xml form will be generated by android studio you don't have to write any xml code for yourself it provides virtual devices for all shapes and sizes a virtual device represents a physical device hence before testing on the physical devices you can test apps on the virtual devices first let us learn to install android studio 
Installing Android Studio requires JDK 6 or greater. So download latest version of JDK from the oracle.com site. Double click the downloaded executable file to initiate the Java installation. Follow the steps in Java installation wizard to install JDK. To ensure that the Android Studio setup finds the Java on your machine, set a system variable that points at the folder where Java is installed. If you are a Windows 7 user, then from the desktop, right click the computer icon and select properties option. Then click the advanced system setting link in the left column. The Windows 8 users can right click the bottom left corner of the desktop to get the power user task menu. From the power user task menu, click system followed by clicking the advanced system setting link in the left column. From the system properties dialog that pops up, click environment variables button. In the environment variables dialog, from the system variable pane, click the new button to add a new system variable called java underscore home, all caps. Set the value of the java underscore home to point at the bin folder of java installation directory as shown in below figure. Once java system variable is set, close all open dialogs boxes by clicking ok for three times. These steps are also explained in the attached video. Open your desktop and right click at the bottom left corner of your screen to open the power user task menu. From this power user task menu, click on the system option. You get this system dialog. In the system dialog, click on the advanced system settings link. You will get this system properties dialog. Here you click on environment variables button. You will get this environment variables dialog box. Here you need to click on new button to open to create a new system variable. But because I have already created, I will click on the edit button. You need to enter uh, create a variable name by name java underscore home. It is all capital and in the variable value, you have to mention the bin folder of your java installation. After typing both the things, click on ok thrice to close all the open dialog boxes. That's it. After installing JDK and setting its system variable, you can go ahead and download the Android Studio package from developer.android.com site. The latest version of Android Studio currently available is 1.2.1.1. Double click the downloaded executable file to initiate the Android Studio setup wizard. The first dialog as expected is a welcome message to Android Studio setup. Click next button. The next dialog prompts to select the components that you want to install as shown in below figure. The essential components are already selected by default. Keeping the default selected, click next button to move further. You will be shown the license agreement dialog, read the terms and conditions and click I agree button to continue. The next dialog prompts to specify the folder to install Android Studio. The dialog also displays the default folder location. You can change the folder by clicking the browse button. The dialog also prompts for the location to install Android SDK as shown in the figure on right. Let us leave both the locations to their default values and click next button to move further. The next dialog is emulator setup that asks to specify the amount of RAM to be set for the HAXM that is hardware accelerated manager that is used by different emulator instances. The dialog also shows the recommended amount of RAM as shown in the figure on the right. Keeping the default values, click next button to move further. The next dialog asks for the start menu folder to create the Android Studios shortcuts. By default, the dialog shows a new folder called Android Studio for keeping its shortcut. See figure on the right. Click install button to copy and install the Android Studio files. After installing the Android Studio files, you get a final dialog that informs that Android Studio is successfully installed on your machine. A checkbox Start Android Studio is checked by default. Click finish button to close the Android Studio setup wizard and launch Android Studio. See figure on the right. When Android Studio is launched for the first time, it prompts you to choose a theme for user interface. You need to choose out of IntelliJ, which is the default theme, and Dercula, it's a dark theme. Let the default theme IntelliJ be selected 
and click next button to move further see fig on the right because an avd that is android virtual device is essential for testing android applications an avd is automatically created for you called nexus 5 api that you can readily use for testing your android apps see fig on right you will learn to create more avds that suit your needs in the next lecture click finish button to complete android studio installation wizard after successful installation of Android Studio, you are all set to create your first Android application. For this, you need to buy the entire first lecture. This is just a sample. Here is a course outline. You can mail me at bmharwani at yahoo.com for any queries. Thanks for watching the video. Have a nice day.